going to the Super Bowl! <laughs> Welcome to Fango Media. I'm your host, Cedric, better known as Coach Hall. I'm at the Jaguars' second home game as they take on the Colts. And the storylines here are deep, with the theme being nine. Nine straight times the Colts have come here and they ended up with a loss, and they're trying to avoid that today with their tenth trip. The other storyline, Trevor Lawrence, nine straight starts, nine straight losses. This is from a quarterback who has just signed a contract extension for a quarter billion dollars. Nine straight starts, nine straight losses. What is Lawrence going to do today? Let's hear what the fans have to say as the Jaguars lead the Colts. I think offensively, we looked a lot better. We moved the ball down the field a lot better than we should have. Defensively, we still have to make some stops, giving up the big plays. Um, but I think Trevor spread the ball around a lot better than he did, and ETN looked more explosive than he has in previous games. Okay, so do you think Doug Peterson is a guy for the job? I don't think we can count Doug out yet. Doug's got a long history of winning. We still have to see. I know everybody's talking about Belichick, but we gotta we got to take a step back and see what happens here. So what is your uh, prognosis for the rest of the season now that you're 1-4? After a 1-4 start, I think that the offense is starting to pick up tempo. We got Josh Hines Allen's back today, and we started pressuring a little bit more. So I think the rest of the season – Watch out, Houston. We're coming for that number one spot. Hey, you seen that kick? Kick yeah. was amazing. 49 yards. What was it? 49? 49 Something yards? Like that, yeah. I believe in them. I think they're going to have a better year. They had. They started rough. I know they've been losing a lot, but they're okay. going to get there. They're going to start winning like that. Today's game was good. It's been a long time coming. Uh, season tickets since 95, the family. I just got to say, it's a great day to be a Jaguars, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Man, these cardiac cats, baby, but they just needed to prove that they could do it, baby. They just had to come through. They had okay. to come through. Well, let me ask you this. Is it just the Jaguars getting better or is it just the Colts? That's 10 straight times now. Nah, the Jaguars just had to prove it to themselves. That's all it is. They came and gave us a good punch in the mouth, but we took it. Where where, where do I begin? Every single time we come to Jacksonville, it's, it's dumb. Um, I, I will say down our starting QB, down our starting running back. I won't make excuses. What is... Is this the most points uh, the Jags have put up in yeah. in, in, in any game this season? Yeah. Um, I that defense, man, it's every first tackle. I I, ju I I just watched the UCF game last night. I swear I was watching UCF again. Every first tackle, he slips right well, through. Well, speaking of UCF in Florida, Anthony Richardson come from the Gators. That's two times in a row he's supposed to play here, didn't show up. Did, what did, do you think about him? Anthony, uh, he's got good potential. He needs to stop getting hurt. Um, I mean, nobody wants to get hurt. I mean. No, but yeah, but especially it's, it's supposed to be his second year. He missed most of the first year. He's okay. not. Um, he 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 needs to play the rest of the year. He can maybe miss one one more game. No one Otherwise, he's really looking at not developing into what he needs to be. I I I don't know, man. Them ponies. They should have ponied up, bro. That's 10 straight they times. They should have ponied up, up man. man, bro. 10 straight times. Stop playing with them. Okay, well, what? Stop playing with the cardiac cats, man. We came here. We brought the luck for this game. This man saw here is he loved this game. Uh -huh. That's the first time he's watching the football game here. Uh -huh. I, I was so ready, man. I love this. I, the energy. I love Florida people. You guys are awesome, man. Okay, well, you, so you're not a Jaguar fan? I, I, now I now will be one. Yes. Okay, well, be one. Do you feel like Peterson is the guy for the job? Yeah, I really liked him when they hired him. You know, there's when you throw the guy right in his hands and he uh -huh. misses it. Yeah, that ain't the but That's what he said. Yeah. So, yeah. so what your your outlook for the future for the rest We're of the season? Went out. We're gonna win out, and make the playoffs, maybe possibly the Super Bowl. Well, I'm glad we capitalized on it. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm glad we got the W. Okay. The team started looking good. Uh -huh. Are we looking the best? No. But. Are we starting to look a little better? Yes, a little bit at a time. So are you happy about what could happen this year? You think you make the playoffs? We'll see. Okay, we'll that'd, see. that'd be good. Uh, I mean, I always want the Jacks to make the playoffs, are but right? expectations are low, hopes are high. They had a really great game. Trevor Lawrence finally got it together for one time. We paid him $300 million. He finally got it together for one game. We're very proud of Trevor Lawrence. What about next game? Next game, we're going to take it on to the next. We're going to celebrate this one. A happy Oregon blowout. Never going to win here. Why do you think you ever win here? Oh, I'm scared of this place. It's got bad, bad vibes. You know what? Let me ask you something. Did you know that the Colts attempted to move here in 79? They used Jacksonville as leverage to get a new stadium in Baltimore. They wouldn't give it to them. That didn't work. Then five years later, they moved to Indy. So I think they're cursed. Do you believe in that? I do believe that they're cursed. Okay, well, 
Anthony Richardson twice. He's Ooh. a coach quarterback, right? But he come here two years in a row in a bandage. He's scared. You think he's scared? He's Why? Scared. So he's just getting the money and, and rolling with it? He doesn't want the demons that are here. Okay, well, I can go with that. But let me ask you this. What the coach going to do the rest of the season? Uh, probably win a handful of games, lose a handful, end up mediocre 500 like the rest of the AFC South. Well, you have a chance to make the playoffs, but that's all it takes. Jags always make it, like, Interesting. Tight, tight for us all. What we just needed to win. We got the win, man. It's all good. So what's next? <sighs> Every week's a battle, man. Hey, one other question. Is Peterson and Lawrence... The two guys you need to lead you into the future. <laughs> Man, I mean, I, I think I think we all have questions about it right now. I mean, a win today is a good thing, but I don't think any of us are like sitting back all totally pretty about what it is. Right. I mean, be legit. Like we're not all sitting back going, "Oh my gosh, solid." Trev, more than Doug, in all honesty, because uh-huh. I still believe in Trev. Oh, okay. I am Coach All with Fango Media. The fans here just witnessed the Jaguars win their first game of the season, 37-34 to with the Indianapolis Colts, which happens to be the 10th straight time the Colts have come here and lost. And this is uh, Fangirl Media. Coach Hall, we're signing out. We out.